Talk about this team coming back and the confidence, the different feel. It seems like it to us that we're on the outside. We're, we're not even part of this. What have you seen? Uh, well, I see the same thing that I saw yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, last year, sorry. Um, last year, you know, we bring the energy. Uh, we went to the playoffs. Uh, I just think the, this is a special team. Uh, we have everything, we have the talent, uh, the pitching. I see a lot of good pitchers, good new faces this year. And I know we're we all going to help each other out. And I just think nothing changes. You know, we're just going to go out there and compete like last year. Um, and just play, play ball games the way that, that we play. How did you step in so quickly? How did you adjust to your role here so quickly with the Twins? And I think, you know, last year I came for fighting for a spot. Uh, you know, I came uh, trying to make the team last year. And, you know, I, I just came out here to show my abilities, that, to know that, that, I, that I can play in this game. And, you know, and you know, this year I came uh, more relaxed because I know I'm at the team now, you know, and, and uh, the effort, the, how I was playing last year, I showed it to everybody. And it's special, you know, to be in the team, uh, uh, not, not, not to go like trying to make the team like last year, and, and just special, it's special. Uh, they treat me well. Obviously, as a player, you want to get treated well. And yeah, this is, for me, I think this is home. Um, I, I would do, I would do my, my career here if they give me a chance. Really, this is home for you? you yeah, think? I think this is home for me. Uh, I feel comfortable, like I said. Every player wants to feel comfortable in a team. And I think this is the right place. Uh, not just for me, for some guys too that say the same. And, and I just think this is one of the best teams that has got to be the best organization. How much easier is it when you know you got a spot? Like you said last year, you're like, huh, I'm just uh, happy to be here. You have a bat at bat. You're like, okay, they, yeah. they saw that and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, uh, you know, it's really frustrating because, you know, coming, uh, being non tender and got signed with, uh, uh, with Minnesota. I know I had to come and show it all. Um, and you know, I came prepared. I came prepared last year. And yeah, I, I won a spot when they told me, when Rocco told me I made the team, it was something really special because I work, I work out a lot and you know, just try to come here prepared for everything. And you know, being a utility guy, uh, I just think it's open more door for me. Uh, being a utility guy, I know not everybody can do that. And it's really special to know that I'm capable of, of doing all those kind of stuff, playing all those positions. And, you know, I just think uh, the way that I came this year, uh, you know, I came even more prepared than last year. So, uh, and the team, the, the atmosphere, everything, uh, it's just great. It's just like last year. So, Byron Buxton says you and him are going to steal 30 bases this year. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that the first day. Uh, the first uh, the team workout, the first team workout, we were talking about that, and he told me, uh, you know, me, me and you, you know, me and you, it's still a lot of bases. They do 2020 this year, and you know, this give it all to God, you know, let's go out there and compete. What's it like having a guy like that in your corner, right? That he has the confidence in you. I mean, he's a all-star center fielder. Yeah. He, he can see what players have the skills and which ones don't. And yeah. He's pointing at you saying, yeah, you can do what I can do. Yeah, I know. Um, he's one of the best athletes uh, for me, I think, at the, in, the, in the major leagues. So um, when I was in Detroit, I used to look out for him a lot. You know, I, I, it's the way that he he go out there, uh, he just play hard. I know he's a guy that been hurt a lot sometimes, you know, but it's the that's the, that's the kind of player that he is. He's an he's a aggressive player. And I just think being on his side here, being a teammate, his teammate, it's just something special. I can learn a lot from him. You know, he's, he's a guy that's been around for, for a while now. So I learned a lot from him. He's a great teammate. Not just him, everybody. Everybody here has treated each other the same. So it just feels special. You just feel special being here. Last question for you. You talked about your versatility. Was that something in your head that you thought, you know, if I can pick up other positions and be a guy where the manager can go, yes, we can count on him to go there, that that was your ticket to stay in the major leagues? That, that's one of them. I, th I think, you know, coming from the minor leagues, uh, I was a shortstop my whole career in the minor leagues. Uh, when I came up for Detroit, um, I was a shortstop. And then the next year after that, they started to put me in different positions. 
And yeah, I started playing those different positions. I was I was feeling a little, I was not feeling sure, you know, I was not feeling confident because it was, I was experiencing a new position. But then I started to get the hang of it and, you know, it just came out natural. Uh, I just think the ability that I, that I had, uh, it made me uh, got to know those positions really quick. So, uh, you know, just giving the thanks to AJ Hinch. And, and then when I came up here, uh, to Minnesota for giving me the opportunity to play all those positions. I got way better. Every time I go out there, I just try to get 1% better. And, and yeah, I just think that the way that I'm going on business now and center field, second base, shortstop, third base, everywhere, I just try to do it the, my best. And, you know, last year was a great, it was a great year um, defensively. And, yeah, I just, I just try to stick to the same routine that I've been, like last year. This year I'm going to bring a better... Uh, uh, routine, so I could keep the the same player that I am. Number one, how much different is the mood around here compared to or dealing with things after what you accomplished last year? Does it feel like you're ahead of the game already? Yeah, uh, a little bit. I think we everybody knows their role in the team. I think that's huge, and I think. Uh, instead of you know coming in not knowing what to expect, we know what to expect this year with the, with the players we have and the comfortability of everybody. So I think it's a you know it's a good way to start the year. Looking at your role this time around, does it change for you after the success you had last year? No, I think it's the same. I mean, you don't want to change anything that you're good at. So I think uh, don't fix anything that's not broke. So I'm just going to keep doing what I, what I did last year. Number three for you, this team defensively was so good a year ago. How do you stay at that level and even raise the bar? Yeah, I think we're going to be better defensively this year. Uh, Eddie's gotten a lot better at second base. You know, we got Santana over there at first with AK, who I, I put them top top defensive first baseman in the league, I, I would say. And uh, Royce is getting better at third, and our outfield's great too. You hit Buxton's in center field, you know, the sky's the limit for him. So I think our defense is going to be even better than last year. There you go, then. Camp this year, where do you feel you're at right now? Um, I mean, the one thing I can say, I'm pretty healthy, so I'm, I'm excited to be healthy again and, you know, excited to be back and just putting in the work. And then uh, the other thing is just, you know, control what I can control. So, like, right now, my thing is to go out there, do my thing, play hard, and, and play good ball. So, yeah. How hard was that to fight through that last year trying to play, you know, and people are like, well, geez, well, what's happened to him? Yeah. They didn't know what yeah. you were dealing with. No, I mean, it was really hard, obviously. Um, but as an athlete, you always want to try to grind and play through, you know, injuries and stuff like that. You know, that's what I try to do. And obviously it was hard because, uh, you know, from, from the get-go, from spring training, obviously I couldn't, you know, couldn't play my best. I couldn't play defense. You know, I couldn't get to WBC, which was a dream of mine. And obviously then going to the season and, and playing through that, it was it was pretty tough. But thank God that's, you know, it's in the past. And, uh, you know, now we just focus on the present. And, and now it's, I'm healthy. So that's, you know, pretty exciting. What do you see for yourself in this camp? I mean, there's a lot of guys here now that uh, can hit a baseball. And it's... Uh, the team is really growing up, right? Yeah. You're part of that group with yeah. Royce and all these guys and Brooks coming up behind yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it's it's an exciting group. You know, we have a lot of uh, good young guys, obviously, and veteran guys too. But, you know, uh, at the same time, for me, for myself, uh, I'm just a guy that I just take it day by day. You know, focus on my stuff, focus on my work, you know, put the work in the gym, put the work out there, defense, offense, you know, try to be better every day. And that's the only thing I can focus right now. And, you know, um, Whatever, obviously, decision they make uh, when spring training is done, you know, that's on, on, their, on, their, on their part. So, yeah. Do you, is the confidence, though, in you pretty high because you had success at the major leagues before? I mean, I think it's almost better to have that success, get hurt, yeah. and then know in your head, oh, yeah. no, I can handle this. Yeah. I, I understand. No, yeah, for sure, totally. Yeah, for sure, totally. Um, I feel like uh, my confidence is always high. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I know what I'm capable of doing. I know, I, I know what I did in 2020, in 2022, and obviously, I know I can do way more than that. So I'm just, you know, putting in the work and and trying to play hard whenever I'm going. You know, whenever I go out there, you know, t tonight I'm playing. So, you know, just using you know, focusing in the game and focusing on every at bat and try to have my best at bat ever and try to think that it's like uh, that this, you know, the last at bat. So, you know, enjoying the game. That's it. How much fun was it to see this team have success? 
in the postseason. I know you couldn't obviously be a part of it, but you're yeah. a part of it. You know all yeah. these guys, and you experienced yeah. it with them. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Obviously, you know, uh, seeing them, you know, winning playoff games, which is you know super important, and, and try to make a run at the, the World Series. It was you know really nice to see everyone you know play their best, and, and you know seeing all these guys that they came up with me and being a part of the team. So it was it was really nice. Awesome. Um, being traded and coming to a new organization, uh, what's it like? You've obviously moved around before, but what's it like coming in here this late and just being a part of this? Um, it was it was a little odd. Uh, first time being traded, so I didn't really know what to expect. Obviously, signing with the Marlins in 21, I'd gone to a new organization. But uh, just right before spring caught me a little off guard. Uh, but, I mean, I couldn't be more excited to be here. What is it about this organization that uh, appeals to you when, once you got to know where you were headed? Right. Um, I mean, obviously, what they did last year, winning the division, you know, hopefully we can come and do that again. That, that looked like a lot of fun. Um, and then just getting to know some of the pitching guys around here. Uh, I've never even played the Twins, and I've gotten so much info on myself already, you know, the, things I can do to help myself, things for, you know, certain hitters, things like that. So it's like, it's a lot of info for being here for a week and never even playing them. Yeah, it is. Uh, they do a lot. Do they do more than other teams that you've been with? Um, yeah, you definitely. Definitely. Uh, seems like very analytical here. They have a lot of numbers on us, a lot of info. So it's, it's, it's a little more than I've been given in the past. So do you know what a role is here for you? Because this bullpen is stacked. There's a lot of really good pitchers here. Um, no, I have no idea what my role will be here. Um, I mean, my hope is just to go in, throw up some zeros, and help us win games. How about in the Marlins? What was your role there? How can you use your time there to get yourself where you are and where you want to be here? Uh, I did a, a little bit of everything there. Uh, had some some late innings, some you know coming in after the starters, some long innings or some long outings. So I mean, I've, I've done a little bit of all of it. So again, you know, I don't I don't know what my role will be here. So you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. Did you call Luis after you got traded and say, hey, what am I getting into? Right. Uh, I called well, I called Pablo because obviously I played with him with the Marlins. Yep, and then yep. I called Griffin. Uh, I work out with him in the off seasons. Oh, okay. And then Carlos called uh, Louis the other day. So that was a, that was a pretty funny phone call. <laughs> yeah. You, well, that was such a strange year for you guys because you guys were really rolling for a while. Eh? And everybody's like, whoa, look at this group here. So you guys obviously put some good baseball together. We did. Um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of one run games. Found ways to win games. Um, I mean, nobody expected us making the playoffs last year. So to be the first team in, in 20 years to do that, it was a lot of fun down there. All right, and, and lastly, just working in a bullpen. How does it work when you come in with new guys and how everybody's manners and this? Because even though it's an individual job that you go out to do, it's still a team, right? And guys can give each other pointers on this guy and what they've seen to that point of the game. Right. I mean, the guys here, I've gotten to know most of them, I feel like, a little bit. It's uh, a lot of new faces here. but. I mean, I feel like everywhere you go is the same thing. We're all here for the same purpose, no matter what team you're playing for, you know. So if you have, you know, guys pulling for each other and working together, then you're going to have success. Just about getting down here and getting ready to roll again, how much does the comfort level change for you each year coming back in here? Um, yeah, I mean, for sure, just getting more and more accustomed to what we do every day and, and uh, feeling more and more involved in everything, so... It's more exciting every year too, for sure. How about for your ability? Because when you came in here before, you're like, okay, I don't know if I belong in this room, but now you got to feel like, yeah, I belong here. Does, does that help your approach coming into the training camp or spring training? Yeah, for sure. And just um, knowing the guys and being around the guys more and more makes it easier for sure, as opposed to a younger guy stepping in here and only knowing a handful of guys. So that, that helps as well, but um, definitely being around most of the guys last year and being um, somewhat part of the team for half the year or whatever definitely helps. Was there a moment where you felt like, okay, I am a major leaguer? You know, was there a point in your game or, or a bat or, you know, a stretch of games where you felt like, yeah, no, this, I, can, this, I can handle this? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like I don't really think of myself necessarily as like a major leaguer or a minor leaguer, but I just know I can play with them for sure and that um, I'm good enough to compete at that level. And um, so 
just like kind of think about it that way, a little bit different, but none. Um, but yeah, I, I just know I can play with them, and, and uh, last year was definitely uh, a part of that for sure. All right, so what can you take from last year into this season in your approach at the plate, your fielding, you know, you just that knowledge, that experience, how much can that help you this time around? Oh, it's everything for sure. Um, I, I just, I learned so much last year and, and just from guys like Correa Farmer, uh, you know, Pagan, so many guys just talking to him about everyday life in, in the big leagues with traveling and just how to handle certain situations and whatnot, everything. So, I mean, that, that's huge, that experience coming in and um, like just confidence from last year, knowing I can play at the big league level. and. Um, just trying to build on that and uh, hopefully less ups and downs and more consistency. Uh, but that's uh, that might always be a little bit a part of my game, but just try and limit it as much as possible. When you look at the success they had a year ago, can you tell that there's a different attitude around here? You know, not, I don't want to say cockiness, but just maybe more confidence in everybody that, you know what? We know we're a pretty good group when we yeah. get rolling. Yeah, for sure. I think um, this year, I mean, I think last year too, but this year especially, it's kind of, it, I would say obviously, but I don't know if people can disagree with me or not, but um, obviously our division to win and, and to defend and, and go into the playoffs and keep building that for last year. So um, it's just, yeah, definitely confidence from, you know, especially from the younger guys having that experience this year and, and um, just building off the older guys' confidence as well as we uh, mend together as a group more.